But before the ambassador comes to the stage, I'd, I'd also like to, uh, you to give a, uh, a warm Ardesh welcome to uh, a Basque friend, uh, Jose Oresti, a very important guest and comrade from the Basque country. Jose was recently being selected as the Basque Agreed candidate for, by E.H. Bildu to contest the upcoming European elections. And again, So again, on your behalf, I'd like to wish him well in the, the forthcoming elections, and I, I, I look forward to the time when he uh, shares his seat with our own forward um, MEPs in the European Parliament. So again, without further ado, can I again uh, welcome our first guest, Jose, up to uh, address you at the Ardesh. Thank you very much. Akarja, dear comrades of the Sinn Féin, comrades of uh, fellow parties, ANC, PLO. Wow, it's, it's a pleasure to be here and to take the floor at the Art Days on behalf of the Basque Pro Sovereignty Coalition Euskal Herria Bildu, which I, I will be representing during the, the European elections. It's a crucial moment for us. We are focused on building a peace process in the Basque country among Basque citizens, a process based on dialogue and agreement among the different political and social agents of our country. Commitment to peace and justice is a key concept for the Irish and Basque peace process. Within a political context in which the Spanish government had decided not to move towards conflict resolutions, we decided to make major changes as regard to our political strategy that brought a new political alliance in the Basque Country. All that groundbreaking political initiative has been inspired by the rule of unilateralism, the denial of basic democratic principles like, di like dialogue by Madrid, leaves no room but political confrontation between the majority of the Basque and Madrid. Nothing can be expected from Madrid on the side of a positive approach to conflict resolution. So it's time for us to think and act by ourselves. The Spanish government has yet to respond to the calls and requests from the international arena. And especially in regard to the consequences of the conflict, it has preferred to adopt merely vindicative positions. Five days ago, as Martina has said, Another, another Basque political prisoner, Arcaid Sebellón, has died in prison, victim of this politics. The Spanish government is not only against the peace process, with new trials, arrests and so, but also against the rights of nations in Europe, against Scotland and Catalonia, which is a position more and more isolated in Europe. And this should lead us to convert these European elections into an opportunity for all those in Europe who demand peace, sovereignty, unity, and a government of the people for the people. This year is going to be very important in Europe with the referendums of Scotland and Catalonia going on, a momentum to reinforce the campaign for the right of the Basques to decide and the demand of Irish to unite. We hope to be at the European Parliament shoulder to shoulder with Lynn, Matt, Martina and Liat on the demand for sovereignty and social justice. We hope to continue united in struggle, strengthening the ties among Irish and Basque and all the people that fight for freedom and justice. We assure that Republican representatives and Basque ones will make, will make a difference and will send to the European Parliament the voices of Basque and Irish people who deserve a better life, a better future. We shall overcome Choki Allah, Gora Moyagat, Miñasker. Thank you.